Welcome to First Class Entertainment. Before we start, please subscribe to our channel. In today's video, we will be looking at 10 most expensive clothes brands only rich people know. But before we begin, if you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Let's get started. Number 10. Burberry Mainly famous for the trench coats, Burberry is a London-based luxury fashion house started back in 1856 by a 21-year-old. The brand has come a long way and now produces eyewear, fashion accessories, fragrances, leather goods, footwear and a lot more. Burberry caught attention when they produced the gabardine fabric, which is the first of its kind and is breathable and waterproof. The fashion scene changed completely when Christopher Bailey took charge and he has been amazingly successful. Currently, there are 421 locations around the globe where Burberry provides its services. It was ranked the ninth most valuable luxury brand in the world in 2020. Number 9. Bottega Veneta Relatively new compared to Burberry is Bottega Veneta based in Milan, Italy that was launched in 1966. They became popular among the rich folk with their intrexiato leather weaving. The company also opened a school of leather craftsmanship back in 2006. Daniel Lee currently serves as a creative director. Bottega Veneta's Intrexiato bag got its promotion when it was carried by Lauren Hutton in the movie American Gigolo, shortly after they launched their ready-to-wear collection during 1990s. Number 8. Hermenegildo Zegna Hermenegildo Zegna is definitely one brand that at least men should know about as they are particularly famous for their suits. This Italian brand has a level of sophistication attached to its high-quality fabric that we don't even need to mention that it is a high-end brand. They use the same luxury wool from the Australian mills as other brands such as Brioni, Tom Ford, and so on. Their suit prices range from between $2,500 to $22,000. But if you ask us are these suits worth the price, we'd give that a strong yes because of the style, class, and comfort the products provide. Number 7. Brioni Brioni is yet another luxury brand hailing from Italy. Started back in 1945 in the city of Rome, famous throughout the rich universe for the leather goods, bespoke suits for men and their ready-to-wear sartorial collections. This brand was started by a tailor and an entrepreneur on Via Barberini 79. Brioni is also famous as they hosted the first fashion show for men in history in the year 1952. They also were the brains behind the trunk show allowing their customers to personalize the garments. Number 6. Keaton Based in Arkansas's Naples, this luxury menswear brand was started in 1968 by Cyro Paone. As the brand came earlier, it remains a trademark of the Carolina Paone SPA company founded in 1956. Part of what preserves their authenticity and identity is the fact that they have only five factories located in Arzano, Coleccio, Fidenza, Marcianis, and Biala. In terms of quality, Keaton remains untouched at the top for menswear and they plan to keep it that way. The level of attention given to the clothing produced is remarkable. The average Keaton garments take 25 or more hours to be produced and the process is overlooked by at least 550 workers who are trained for every step in the process. Number 5. Celine Moving on from Italian luxury brands, it's the turn of the French. Celine is a brand concentrated on ready-to-wear merchandise along with luxury leather goods. It was in 1960 that the company decided to shift more of their focus on sportswear for women. Celine Vipiana, the brand's founder, only remained a designer from 1945 to 1997. Celine is popular for their extreme durability and are believed to be indestructible, thus allowing its users to walk around carefree. Most of Celine's customers are women who love to stay on top of their fashion game and at the same time want to make you believe they aren't trying too hard. And Celine definitely helps into putting that image into perfection. Thus, this brand is definitely worth your money. Number 4. Balenciaga Yet another French luxury brand that has been on the hot market is Balenciaga. They have been on the scene for around 80 years now, and ever since it started out, its founder Cristobal Balenciaga has taken a rebellious approach in terms of his designs. They didn't stick to the hourglass shapes, which were then promoted by most design houses. They stuck to clean, simplified silhouettes and these have remained to the core, which defines Balenciaga even today. Balenciaga also puts in a lot of work on its footwear department and dedicates around 18% of its assortment to its footwear category. A turning point in the brand's history was the arrival of Demna Guacelia, who brought in his ideas of sportswear aesthetic but still managed to keep the main idea of the brand, that is fluidity and simplicity, intact. 
more than that expanding into a wider range of footwear. Balenciaga focuses more on sticking to selling what is currently selling best, and that is their sneakers. Number 3. Driss Van Noten so here is a break from all the Italian and French influence. Baron Van Noten hails from Belgium and has been on the scene for a long time now. He worked first as a freelancer for a local designer and later launched a menswear line in 1968. Van Noten does have fashion and good taste that runs through his family. His grandfather was a tailor and his dad owned a menswear shop. So it's no surprise that he has such high levels of talent. Currently, the brand produces four collections each year two for men and two for women for summer and winters. There is no haute couture available for trees, only ready-to-wear models. Van Noten has had a lot of celebrity customers. He has been dressing Kate Blanchett ever since 2008 Academy Awards and has continued to do so. And his other high-end customers include Queen Metalda of Belgium and Maggie Gyllenhaal. The Dries Van Noten suit has also featured in an episode of TV show Killing Eve. Back in 2005, the New York Times described him as one of the most cerebral designers in the fashion industry, which was the time he made a comeback after he fell out in the early 90s. Number 2. Marnie Don't be fooled by the cool artisty vibe Marnie gives off. These pieces are still extremely expensive, but because of their easy-going nature and painterly prints, they are a popular pick among a lot of models and actresses for their own downtime. Ever wondered how Prada and Marnie give off a similar vibe? Well, you weren't wrong, and the reason behind this is Francesco Risso, who is currently the head of design at Marnie but earlier used to work for Prada. Marnie is also relatively new to the fashion scene when compared to other Italian houses. It was started only in 1994 by Consuelo Castiglioni. Marnie, like Dries van Noten, is popular mainly for its ready-to-wear clothing, which is available for men, women, and children. 2000 is when Marnie stepped up their game and expanded into various key fashion spots and opened numerous stores. In 2012, the fashion house was acquired by the OTB Group. Number 1. Giambattista Valli If you haven't heard of Giambattista Valli, do not be disheartened. You definitely have a lot of company. These designers caught the eye of many when Kendall Jenner sported in one of his pieces at the Golden Globes of 2018. It was a white creation with one sleeveless side and the other side with a fluffy sleeve. It also included a rather long train. This is another designer from Italy. And so you can imagine the authenticity and quality of the brand is definitely above par. He displays his designs only four times a year during the Paris Fashion Weeks. He launched his brand in 2005 with his very first ready-to-wear show after moving to France and building a true mason. It was only in July 2011 that he showcased his first couture collection and thus was given a membership at the Chamber Syndicale de la Haute Couture. With that, we've reached the end of our video. Which one of these brands are you willing to give a shot to if you have the money to burn? Or do you think these are unnecessary expenses? Let us know in the comments section below. Subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for more.